<laughs> Thank you all for coming out. It is my distinct honor to announce that we have a very special guest. World-renowned acting teacher, William Esper. He's here to discuss his new book, The Actors at the <laughs> Questions from the audience. Mr. Esther, why is empathy so important to good acting? <laughs> empathy is the very heart of the actor's mission. Mm -hmm. For 40 years, my students have asked me, how do we get off the page and into our characters? And my answer is always the same. Empathy. Okay. You have to truly understand your character's emotions, not just intellectually, but on a passionate human level. You have to inhabit your characters, believe for your character, mm -hmm. sympathize with their struggles. But for this is the actor's mission. <coughs> this is the actor's empathy. Truly <laughs> 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 really incredible. Now I'd like to turn the conversation over to our peers. Any questions? Ah, yes, sir. Hi, Mr. Esper. Um, I'm auditioning for the role of a human trafficker slash cop killer. And I'm trying to find a character. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> Do you have a job? That's always an amusing question for an actor, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I'm a waiter at a, a cheesecake factory. <laughs> <laughs> but what if instead of serving cheesecake, you were serving human beings. <laughs> I, uh, I, I feel that's a weak metaphor. <laughs> Shut up. You're nothing but a waiter. <laughs> detestable forms of servitude on this earth. <laughs> but so is the human trafficker. For what is he but a man who caters to the desires of other men? I'm not sure the waiter brings an Oreo cheesecake to the family at table three, but the human trafficker brings Taiwanese lady boys to a hotel room in San Diego. <laughs> Are two behaviors really so different? Yes. <laughs> okay. the, the content may differ, but the motivation is the same. I mean, you're nothing but vessels ferrying overpriced playthings to a higher class of people. <laughs> Lady boys, the parallel is obscenely obvious. You know that you're not a stupid man. But you are in need of the actor's empathy. <laughs> Any more questions? Oh, yes, so in the corner. Yeah, uh, I just got cast in a, a, a role in Law and Order SVU. Oh, it's a wonderful program. Congratulations. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm playing an unrepentant serial rapist. <laughs> what would you recommend? <laughs> when you were a child, uh, did you ever steal a cookie from a cookie jar? <laughs> Uh, we have like a tray of Jolly Ranchers on our end table, and I need to take one of those. Okay, sometime. just don't don't be difficult. <laughs> when you stole those cookies, did you ever? Get... <laughs> no. How did you feel when you ate them up and got away with them? <laughs> Pretty good. Yes, yes, yes you did. You know who shares in your guilty pleasure? <laughs> the serial rapist! <laughs> through the mean streets of New York just like a hungry child in search of forbidden indulgence. <laughs> so you're saying uh, uh, cookie is like rape. <laughs> the, the content differs, but the motivation is the same, carnal pleasure. Now, I've certainly never raped anyone, and I hope neither of you, but we both know that nothing compares to the warm silkiness of a vagina. <laughs> of a soft batch of chips ahoy. I'm <laughs> 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 actually playing a uh, gay rapist. Okay, then the warm silk is I don't <laughs> Now the chips ahoy thing makes more sense because the chocolate's like poop. <laughs> 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 oh, you know this, you're not a stupid man. What you need is 
the act is empathy. No. I'm, uh, I'm auditioning for a horror movie next week, and I'm going to be playing the role of the Greek demoness Empusa. And according to myth, Empusa would take the form of governess, and then she would find a family in need, and then she would eat the souls of all of their children. So, like, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> You know, the, the last time you ate a piece of chicken, you ate another chicken's baby, and you didn't give it a second spot. Oh, I'm actually, I'm vegan. Excuse me? I'm vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't eat meat. Okay, but the last time you had an egg, I mean, that's even worse. It's like an unborn oh, child. Oh, vegans, we don't eat eggs, so... Do, do you have any children? No. Have you, do you have any nieces or nephews? Uh, I'm an only child. <clears throat> have you ever been a nanny? Uh, no. A babysitter? Uh, I was the only kid in my block, so no. <laughs> At any point in your entire adult life, have you been entrusted with the chair care of a child? Uh, I have kind of a terrible history with drugs, so my family don't really trust me with their children. Oh, well, it's the same with the foul demoness Impusa, for who can trust that queen of lies? Well, actually, uh, Impusa, you know, she was a really good governess before she ate the souls of the children, so that doesn't really... Okay, um... You know, some people say uh, that taking a photograph is akin to stealing someone's soul. So in that I'm sense, I'm never taking a photograph. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? I have photographic memory. <laughs> have you ever been in a relationship? Oh, I'm in one now. Perfect, perfect. Because some say when a man and a woman have sex, their souls combine. I'm a lesbian. Okay, when two women have sex, we're asexual. <laughs> <laughs> what? We don't have sexual intercourse. We have no sexual orientation. You just said you're lesbian. You're <laughs> <laughs> homo romantic, not homosexual, so. <laughs> Are you a religious woman? No. Oh, okay, do you believe in God? Not really. Oh, well, neither does the foul demoness and Pusa. <laughs> no. Well, Pusa actually had a relationship with Zeus before she became a demon, so she definitely knows he exists. <laughs> Um, <laughs> have you ever, uh, uh, worn high heels? <laughs> you just didn't know what to say, so you just saw the set of Everyone was having a great time to these <laughs> But I was doing my best to relate 40 years of acting scholarship in a single interview, and then you had to open your mouth and suck the life out of the room. Ooh! Just like that girl, Demonis and Pusa! The parallels of seeing the office. <laughs>